Today's video is called Tribulation Truth. There are many churches today that teach that born-again uh, Christians will be raptured before the tribulation begins. This is a false teaching that is a way of escaping the reality of the truth of what the Word actually says. So if you believe that you will be raptured before the tribulation, that you will not be prepared for the severe persecution that will come against the church. The mark of the beast will be required to buy and sell. If you take the mark of the beast, you will be condemned to hell. There will be many Christians that will be martyred during this time because they refuse to deny Christ and they refuse to take the mark of the beast. Now, according to the scriptures, Yahushua, Jesus, says that we will go through tribulation. So let's look at some of those scriptures. So turn with me first to Matthew chapter 24, verses 15 to 31. Now, these are Christ's words. He says this, Therefore, when you see the abomination of desolation, spoken of by Daniel the prophet, standing in the holy place, whoever reads, let him understand. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let him who is on the housetop not go down to take anything out of his house. And let him who is in the field not go back to get his clothes. But woe to those who are pregnant and to those who are nursing babies in those days. And pray that your flight may not be in winter or on the Sabbath. For then there will be great tribulation, such has not been since the beginning of the world until this time, no, nor ever shall be. And unless those days were shortened, no flesh would be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days will be shortened. So I'm going to stop there. So we see that the elect are here during this great drip tribulation that Jesus is speaking about. And that's, let's continue. He says, Then if anyone says to you, Look, here is the Christ, or there, do not believe it. For false Christ and false prophets will rise and show great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. See, I have told you beforehand. So once again, Yahushua, Jesus says, Listen, I'm warning you, I'm telling you this in advance, so that so that the elect will not be deceived, which also proves that the elect is here during this great tribulation. Let's continue. It says, He says, Therefore, if they say to you, Look, he is in the desert, do not go out, or look, he is in the inner rooms, do not believe it. For as the lightning comes from the east and flashes to the west, so, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be. For wherever the carcass is, there the eagles will be gathered together. And then he says, immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then the Son of Man will appear in heaven and then all of the tribes of the earth will mourn and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he will send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet and they will gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of the of heaven to the other so there is a sequence uh, of events that happens according to these scriptures that 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 Yahushua gives us number one the abomination of desolation who is the antichrist will stand in the holy temple so we need to be looking for that. Number two, it say he says there will be great signs and wonders that could possibly even deceive the elect. So the elect, once I, as I said before, they're still here on the earth. The false prophet will call down fire from heaven, Scripture says. Sundar Sevaraj says that the Lord Jesus Christ himself told him that Pope Francis is the false prophet. Number three, after the great tribulation, it says the sun will be darkened, the moon will be darkened or turn into blood red, and the stars will fall. Number four, people will then see Yahushua in the sky. <clears throat> Number five, the angels will sound a trumpet and then the elect are gathered in what we call or know as the rapture. <clears throat> So the exact same sequence of events are recorded in the Gospel of Mark. I want to read them to you. Mark chapter 13, verses 14 to 27. And once again, these are Yahushua's, Jesus' words. <clears throat> 
So when you see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, standing where it ought not, let the reader understand. Then let, how, then let those who are in, the, in Judea flee to the mountains. Let him who is on the housetop not go down into the house, nor enter to take anything out of his house. And let him who is in the field not go back to get his clothes. But woe to those who are pregnant and to those who are nursing babies in those days, and pray that your flight may not be in winter. For in those days there will be tribulation such has not been since the beginning of the creation which God created until this time, nor ever shall be. And unless the Lord had shortened those days, no flesh would be saved. But for the elect's sake, whom he chose, he shortened those days. Then if anyone says to you, look, here is the Christ, or look, here, there he is, do not believe it. For false Christ and false prophets will rise and show signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. But take hold, see, I have told you all things beforehand. But in those days, after the tribulation, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. The stars of the heaven will fall and the powers in the heavens will be shaken. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. And then he will send his angels and gather together his elect from the four winds and from the furthest part of the earth to the furthest part of the heaven. So this is twice now we've seen the exact same sequence of, event, of events recorded in the Gospels. Now I want you to turn with me to Luke chapter 21 verses 25 to 28. And once again, these are Yahushua's, Jesus's words. And he says this, and there will be signs in the sun, in the moon, and in the stars, and on the, the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing from them from fear and the expectation of those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Now, when you see these things begin to happen, look up and lift up your heads because your, your redemption draws near. So this is the third time in the Gospels where this is recorded, where these signs will occur in the sky, that the, that the sun will be darkened, the moon will be darkened, um, that the stars begin to fall. When this happens, we are, as Christians, we are to look up to heaven because Jesus is about ready to appear in the sky and our redemption is near and the rapture is about ready to take place. Now, the Apostle Paul describes the rapture or the catching away of the, the elect. And we see that in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 51 to 53. I want to read. Paul says this, Behold, I tell you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. And then in 1 Thessalonians uh, 4, verses 16 to 17, Paul says this, For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and thus we shall always be with the Lord. So many churches only use this 1 Corinthians and 1 Thessalonians scriptures for their pre-tribulation rapture, but we must use all the scriptures. We must use even the scriptures in the Gospels where Yahushua himself says that we will go through tribulation. So there is a sequence for the rapture according to the, the Apostle Paul. First, the dead in Christ will come out of their graves and rise to meet Yahushua 
in the sky. Secondly, those who are alive and remain will be caught up to meet Yahushua in the sky, scripture says. Now, the reason that Paul says those who are alive and remain is because many Christians will be martyred during this time of tribulation. But those whom the Lord has hidden, those are the ones that will, will, be, will be alive and that remain. And those are the ones that will be raptured at the end. Now, this martyrdom happens in the fifth seal in Revelation. So turn with me to Revelation 6, verses 9 to 11. It says, When he opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of those who had been slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, how long, how long, O Lord, holy and true, until you judge and avenge our blood on those who dwell on the earth? Then a white robe was given to each of them, and it was said to them that they should rest a little while longer until both the number of their fellow servants and their brethren, who would be killed as they were, was completed. So in the fifth seal, we see that, that there are martyrs who are under the altar of God and they're crying out saying, Lord, when are you going to avenge us? And the Lord says to them, just wait a little longer because the number of martyrs is not complete. And that number of martyrs will be complete in this fifth seal. And that is, that is during the tribulation time when, when many Christians will be martyred for their faith in Christ. So let's continue in Revelation 6, 12 through 17. He says, I looked when he opened the sixth seal, and behold, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became like blood, and the stars of heaven fell to the earth as a fig tree drops its late figs when it is shaken by a mighty wind. Then the sky receded as a scroll when it is rolled up, and every mountain and island was moved out of its place. And the kings of the earth, the great men, the rich men, the commanders, the mighty men, every slave and every free man hid themselves in the caves and in the rocks of the mountains and said to the mountains and the rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of him who sits on the throne and from the wrath of the lamb. For the great day of his wrath has come, and who is able to stand? So we see in this sixth seal, in, in Revelation chapter 6, that the exact same things that Yahushua spoke of in the Gospels happens when this sixth seal is open. We see that the sun becomes black, that the moon becomes red or dark, and that the stars fall from heaven. Jesus, Yahushua, said these events will happen after the tribulation. So when we see these things happening, when we see the, the, the moon or the moon becoming blood red or dark, when we see the, the sky or the sun uh, being darkened and the stars falling from the, the sky, when we see this great earthquake, when we see the roar, the seas roaring and, and, and becoming um, like huge tsunamis coming in, when these things happen, Jesus, Yahushua says, look up because your redemption is near. And that is when the rapture happens. Then the angel blows the trumpet. And those who are still alive and remain on the earth through this tribulation, those are the ones that will be raptured. Scriptures do not lie. They reveal the tribulation, tribulation truth.